Welcome back to another Sensei Golf video. Today we are back grinding online, playing some competitive golf. We find an S7 player, S3 player, S1. It's not a bad lobby actually. There's a few lower ranked players, but that's all right. Looks like we're starting hole eight here and uh, pushing or trying to push back into S9. So this should be a good one. I feel pretty good. Although we are starting on hole eight with like some of the most difficult wind. Full power five iron might be enough, actually. Nice shot. Yeah, it's a tad under, which doesn't really matter. I intend to do a full there. And terrible. Nice. Great start. 35 footer on hole eight. Um, ooh, there's a nice long putt that just rolled in for birdie from the S7 player. So that's nice to see. I got to step up here and make a putt. Yeah, I guess, um, I mean, 5-iron was not enough power, but I also didn't get the wind right there, so just overall, not the greatest shot to start off. Ooh, that's not the power that I intended to go. Okay, well, we will sink this 8-footer for par. I did see birdies roll in, so we are going to be playing from behind, which... It's not the end of the world, I don't mind being behind. In game, of course, in game. And it just means we're gonna have to make a chip somewhere. I only one birdie actually, that's fine, I don't mind. And it's not like we're four points down. So I'm not too concerned here. It's either gonna be we're, we're gonna have to make a chip in somewhere, or we just have to hope uh, the girl in first makes a mistake somewhere. I'd rather, you know, put this into my own hands and not leave the outcome of this game up to someone else. But we got nine here, a more strong wind actually, wow. I mean, at the very least, I can birdie this, and strong wind on hole 9 just means maybe it's harder to birdie for everyone else, so I guess there's a chance that I birdie and um, first place pars. We'll have to see here. Pins at the back, though. I don't... If I'm going to make a chip and eagle in hole 9, it's I would want pin to be at the back, so I suppose there's a chance here. I mean, tailwind, crosswind, 24 miles an hour. And I'm not doing backspin here, obviously, because pin's so far at the back. I don't want to spin away, like, down the green, away from the pin. Nice shot. Could be in, actually. We got a nice... Okay. We will absolutely take that. I was going to say, we got a nice bounce because we didn't even kick that part of the right. I landed kind of on that flat part of the green. That was like one of the cleanest, if not that, actually no. That was the cleanest one bounce dunk I have ever executed in my entire life. That was crazy. That was like perfect. And just like that, we are no longer playing from behind. And that'll propel me to first one point lead. 21 to 20 already. What a crazy game so far. Into the semis we go. Very nice bounce back after the par there. We got 16. Looks like it's really light wind. And it is. Ooh, it's four mile an hour. It's left or right. I'm also left-ish T position on the box. So I can make this if I have like quite literally pixel perfect aim. But like this is the wind in this position on the T box is like the max that you could make the shortcut with. Shot. Okay, yeah, we actually even clipped that back tree there, but thankfully it was like any more pixels to the right, I probably would have dropped down into the OB. But I couldn't have gone any more to the left because that front tree, I just would have hit that and gone OB. So, very nice plays on 16. See if we can't, I mean, Eagle's on the table. This is a tricky pin position from chipping from the bunker just because the green's so aggressive. That's fine. Nice. No eagle there, but a nice enough approach for a free birdie. Keep myself in first place, that is. Nice and we're probably getting 17 next. Actually, maybe maybe it's 50-50, 17, 18. Obviously, I would prefer 18, but it doesn't, I guess it doesn't really matter. One point. I can't make any mistakes. I'm only one point 
any stroke differential from here on out could cost me the game. It's not like I have a three point lead or anything. And we do get 17. Okay, so it looks like some strong wind again. Jeez, I'm gonna have to be uh, very, very good here. Left to right wind, pin at the very front left. This will be tricky. Probably gonna wanna go a little bit under full power on the driver. Nice shot. Ooh, is that just in the hole? Okay, no, it's not. We were like maybe a foot to the left there. Nice. Dang, that was actually a pretty good approach. All things considered, 17 feet away on 17 on the green. I don't mind it at all. And this area of the green's easy. Yeah, that's a good birdie. So, I'll okay, be 41. Now, obviously, we didn't see any hole-in-ones there, so we'll still be in first by one point. And this is what I was saying earlier, like, again, yeah, if you fall behind, you're either relying on a chip from yourself or for someone else to make a mistake. And you never want to rely on someone making a mistake. A 15 here, not uh, the easiest eagleable hole, so I feel somewhat confident in a win. Although it's not necessarily a lock just yet. Both my competitors in the finals look the exact same. They have the same hair and just the same look. I wonder if they're twin sisters. Nice shot. Grandpa Chad versus twin sisters. That's a free win for Grandpa Chad, if you ask me. Nice shot. Oh, I mean, we'll see what we can... Okay, yeah, that's not even close to enough adjustment there, jeez. And obviously the green's breaking left to right. That's fine, though. I'm pretty sure that was the second ball there, so that'll be a win if we can sink this putt. And it is a nice birdie putt. It should be a, only a one-point win, so... Technically, on stroke count, I did tie for with the lady in second, but I mean, the way the game is set up, you kind of just have to play the point system, so it is what it is. 51 to 50 to 47. They literally look the exact same. Congratulations. Anyway, as you can see, we're a little bit down in the dumps in terms of rank, but are we, there's an S7 player. Yeah, that's actually an okay amount of rank. We, depending on the lobbies that we can find, we might be able to get to S9 in this video. So we'll see you in game number two. Game number two here. We are blessed with a bit of a different lobby. Five lower ranked S players, two A players. Nobody is like super high rank. So that makes me think there's not a lot of rank up for grabs with a win. However, obviously there are just a bunch of S players in the low rank. So maybe that combined. If we get a win, we would gain a decent amount of rank. We'll see here. Starting on 13, pin middle right. I love spoon here, although I don't necessarily know how much adjustment to do when there's like crosswind going the spoon on par threes. Okay, that's not even close to enough adjustment. Although power was... Pretty darn good, so. It yeah, kind of saved myself there. Chance for a birdie here. And birdie sunk. Good 10 points to start off this round. So what do we got here? Only four birdies. Not too shabby. Four-way tie for first so far. Ooh, we got 15 again. Really strong win this time. We might even... Yeah, I think we want to club down to a spoon here. Nice shot. And just uh, land on the fairway. Which we do, there's a lot of people in the rough there. I guess not that it really makes a big difference, you can still easily, easily make it onto the green. But, uh, again, wind left to right. But, the green and the fairway a little bit left or right. Okay, once again, not even close to enough adjustment there. Sometimes it does feel like wind right to left on uh, 15 is bugged. Just feels like it never pushes you as much as you think it should. 
Honestly, nice approach, though. Pretty easy for already there. Uh, for, well, that'll put us at 20 after the first round, which is good. Ooh, chipping from guys and eagle, or... Already okay. All right, so... Four birdies from the top of the leaderboard. Okay, moving into the semis, still tied for first, not a big deal. Could see closest to pin, although every time I say that we could see a closest to pin with a lot of people, we never end up getting that. I always end up winning, so maybe that's just... Means I'm just gonna win. Still three holes left though to make a difference, so I guess I would be a little surprised if it was still a four way tie at the end, but we got 11 here. Man, the wind's been crazy this uh, this session. Ooh, is it a bit left? Oh, just a tiny bit left. Maybe, what, a foot, foot and a half there? That was close. Although we were coming in pretty hot, so I might have lipped out anyway if I had better aim, but honestly, it's fine with the approach we have, especially with the wind. And yeah, it's another good birdie there to be at 30 after 3. And we will be getting hole 12 after this, so wind dependent, we can maybe sneak out with a nice eagle there, possibly an albatross. We'll see. Two players dropping off, so I'm tied with one other player now. The chances of closest to pin were just uh, slashed quite heavily. And it is 12th, and I think we can still take the short with the wind, even though it looks it looks strong, but I don't... Yeah, it's only 15, actually, that's fine. That dude looks like he's floating. Nice shot. Physics, am I right? Yeah, we're making sure we land kind of on the right side of the fairway here so we can adjust far enough left to make it onto the green. Otherwise, if we were more on the right, we just hit that tree on the, or sorry, on the left. But uh, this is a spoon pin position, so I'll do spoon. Ooh, are we gonna be, yeah, we're we gonna be too far right. Where are we? Yeah, just a little bit. Shoot. That's not bad though. Power's pretty good. Nice one. Maybe like five feet to the left or to the right there. It doesn't break that much. And yeah, nice eagle. Really good eagle there. But uh, we're still gonna be tied for first, so we have one more hole left to make a difference, or we're going to a closest to pin. Yep, there it is. We are still tied into the finals we go. Ooh, it's 21. Okay, where's the pin at? Pin's the back at like very, very top right. Okay, that's interesting actually. I also just realized I got the same outfit as my competitor. Nice shot. Obviously, Spoko Square is only big enough for one me or sports mate wearing the uh, the best outfit that the game has to offer, so we better make sure we uh, win this one. Establish ourselves as the best Vacation Threads wearer out here on the links. I think I'll do three dots of power here and kind of just ride up that the back hill. Should be pretty good. Ooh, it's maybe too much, actually. Okay, yeah, it is way too much. Jeez. Uh, it's not that good, actually. 14 feet? Okay, uh... Well, this is an interesting... ...angle. But wow, did you just see that? That person just completely whiffed that putt there. Jeez. That's good news for me, I guess, because now I have... I actually have a bit of a safety net here. The player I'm tied with is now putting for par. All right, well, a nice five putt from our competitor will uh, gift me the win on a silver platter. I was I was fully expecting to go to a closest pin there, but I'll take an outright win. 51 down to 54 to 47. Another good win, another uh, pretty good game. Tons of low S ranked players in this lobby. How much rank are we going to gain? 
Hmm, okay, a little bit. Surely one more win and we get to S9, so I will see you in game number three. Ooh, we find Guy again. Three A players, a B player, and a C player. Surely a win in this lobby is enough to rank up to S9, right? Surely. I'm a little bit concerned because the lobby was not that high rated. And, uh, if, yeah, if we win this, I hope we rank up to S9, but we gotta win this first. 16, very, very strong. Tailwind. But yeah, I think full power here, I'm just gonna go, like, completely over the green. But I might be able to clip the back tree to slow me down and then get a decent approach, we'll see. Nice shot. Uh, no, we sail right over it. Okay, that's fine. I mean, honestly, like, when you take the shortcut and you're in the bunker before the green, it's not really any different than being where we are right now. You're off the green with a... a short wedge in, so no big deal. Yeah, wind's actually flat, so maybe there's actually a chance for an eagle here. Ooh, no. No chance for any other. Dang. That would have been really nice. Cannot lie to you. Alright, but a good 10 points, though, off of uh, 16. I don't know how many other people are getting birdies, so it might not, might not actually be that bad. Okay, there's actually a number of birdies there. That's pretty good. Yeah, five birdies, so... Five-way tie here. Not gonna get this win easy, it looks like. We do move on to 18. It looks like it's a strong... Oh, it's a tailwind. Okay, I thought it was a uh, strong headwind at first. But, uh, okay, it's more of a crosswind, but honestly, this is actually, like, totally fine. Nice shot. Stroke 2 is going to be a lot harder than stroke 1. Even though stroke 1, you got to be really precise. You don't want to land in the rough or in the water, but pretty much smack dab center fairway, so I don't mind that at all. 166 in, but it's the wind that's going to be tricky. You're going to have to adjust heavily for this directional wind here. Nice shot. Oh, wow. That was actually a, uh, a really poor shot. That was not though, that was a pretty good putt there for a really good eagle. I don't know how many other of my competitors got eagles, I wasn't really paying attention to the sidebar there. But we should see some players dropping off, at least. Okay, and the, the amount of players dropping off is four. And I take solo control of first place, exactly where I want to be. Especially in this game, where it's potentially my rank up game. We want to be uh, on top as much as we can. On to 11. Didn't look like we had a strong wind, actually, so I wonder. Ooh, I do wonder. Gonna need backspin here, of course. Well, I guess we don't need it, but I'm gonna go it. Nice shot. So I will just do seven with backspin. That is less power than I intended to go. Okay, we didn't even get the backspin anyway, nice that's fine one. then. All good, I guess. Another birdie. Nice birdie. And let's see. Obviously, well, not obviously, but maintaining four points it looks like uh, shaping up to be a three way final. Ooh, it's 12 again. Nice. Nice shot. Nice shot. Hey, surely that's enough. Okay, it is enough power. Wind, though, man. I mean, I guess technically it was not enough power. Nice. We're 20... Uh, we, I mean, we actually do have a good chance to finish this game with 58, which would be sweet. This does not look like an easy putt, though. It looks pretty aggressive, actually. But we can sink this for Eagle and maintain our lead. If we miss, we might be... 
tied for first afterwards. Okay. Well, that's a birdie. Yeah, I don't know if there are other eagles. Uh, all right. I'm actually really surprised there were no eagles there, but that is the perks of being in a, a not so high rated lobby is that it's easier to win. And then obviously the downside is there's not a lot of rank for gain. So obviously pros and cons, but uh, still in first by four points, which means one of these players needs a hole in one if they want to beat me here today. And if they don't, I might be walking out here with S9. Nice shot. Wow, I think I bounced like an inch to the left of the hole there. That's crazy. Chance for birdie though, so as long as guy doesn't get a hole in one here. Which he does not. That is going to be another W. Third W for the video. I think that puts me at 350 plus point performances for the video. 51 and 254s. The real question is, is it enough to rank up to S9? I mean, we're not that far away, but the lobby was not that high of an average rank. We will see. Well, if you enjoyed, hit the like button. I will see you guys in the next video.